run different steps in a Jenkins pipeline based on a branch. Let's assume for a moment that you're using a branching strategy like Gitflow within your repository where you have long-lived branches. Let's also assume that you're using pull requests as well. The twist to all of this is that you want to have a single Jenkins file, but based on which branch the job is running on, you want to have different outcomes. In this video, we're going to look at a way to do that. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.375.2. And on this controller, I've already set up a multi-branch job. Also associated with this video is a sample repository. The link to that repository is down in the description. So let's go ahead and go take a look at that repository. So what you can see is that we have a repository with three branches, main, dev, and stage. And we also have a pull request that is currently based off of the dev branch. So let's go over and take a look at our Jenkins file real quick on our main branch. Now this Jenkins file is the same on both the main, the dev, and the stage branches. So what we see here is we have three stages set up. Now this is a very simplistic Jenkins file. This is the basis of what you would do in building out your own Jenkins file if you're wanting to do this type of use case. So in this case, I have stage for main branch. And the key part to this is using the when directive. I'm saying when the branch is main, then I'm going to echo out main branch. That's sort of the same for the stage branch. Again, when branch is stage, we'll echo out stage branch. But the option for pull requests or merge requests, if you're using GitLab, is we're going to use, instead of a when branch, we're going to say when change request. Because the change request is able to handle whether it's GitHub using pull request or GitLab using merge request. So it's just a change request. And based on that, we're just going to echo out pull request. So let's go ahead and go over to our controller and let's take a look at the job. Now we know the repository is in GitHub. So when this multi-branch job was set up, it was set up using a GitHub branch source. Now, since I'm using GitHub, unless I set up credentials, I could quickly run out of the API tokens in order for this to work properly. Down in the description of this video is a link off to another video where I talked about how to set up multi-branch pipelines using the GitHub branch source. If you've never been through that before, you might want to go take a look at that and then come back to this video to understand these settings. So I've set up a branch source for GitHub. I've put in the credentials. I've given it the URL. I've left all of the behaviors default. So made no changes to any of these. And in fact, I left the discover pull request and for both origin and forks at their defaults as well. And then finally, for the build configuration, we're saying by Jenkins file, where the script path is Jenkins file. Now, if we go back over to our repository, we can see that this Jenkins file is at the root of the branch. If we were to go in and take a look at stage, we also see Jenkins file is there. And if we take a look at dev, which is what's feeding into the pull request, we also have a Jenkins file here at the top level. Now let's go ahead and go into the actual executions of these jobs. Now I've already gone ahead and run these jobs. Let's first take a look at main. And we'll take a look at the console output for this. After the job starts up and we get into our stages, we can see this first stage is for main branch and we get the echo out for the main branch. Again, we've selected up here the main branch on this repository. We can see that the stage for stage branch and also for pull request were skipped because the win conditional was not met. Again, going back to our main branch and taking a look at the Jenkins file, when we were on the main branch, so therefore this executed, but we were not on the stage branch, nor were we in a change request. So that's why these two stages were skipped. Now let's go back over and take a look at stage. And with stage, it's going to be similar to main, that we can see that the main branch is skipped because now we're on the stage branch. We see the echo out for stage branch. And again, we're skipping pull request because we're not in a change request. We are on the stage branch. And finally, let's go over to pull request. We can see we have one pull request active here, PR2. And if we take a look at the console output for this, we can see that both main and stage are skipped because those conditionals aren't met. We're not in branch main or in branch stage, but we are in a change request, which in this case with GitHub, it is a pull request. And then we're echoing out pull request. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment. Click on that subscribe button and then ring that bell and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV.
Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.